Okay, hello everyone. Guys, let's just look at the test. All right? We're going to practice for the test right now. Guys, test number five is 10 problems. Guys, the first two problems, you just have to take out a GCF and then factor it as normal. All right, problems three and four might actually be the hardest problems. And guys, don't get bogged down on it. If you're struggling, just skip them and come back and do some of the easier ones and then come back. Three and four might be the hardest problems because you got to take out a GCF first and then use the slide method to factor it completely. Okay? Guys, problem five and six I think are relatively easy. It's the regular factoring, A equals one. You don't have to slide anything, just find two numbers. You know, multiply together, give you that last constant term, and either added or subtracted gives you the middle term, okay? Problems seven and eight are the slide method. Where there's a number in front of the x squared, you have to slide back, okay? Use the slide method. Don't forget to divide the slide back out, okay? Problem number nine is a perfect square. If you want, you can use the slide method. That's the way I usually do it. Because sometimes I have a trouble recognizing a perfect square. But I'm letting you guys know, number nine is a perfect square, okay? And number 10 is maybe the easiest problem of all, the difference between two squares. Learn to recognize it, okay? So these are practice problems, guys. This is not what the test is, but it looks kind of like the test. All right? There's a worksheet if you want to print it, but I did the whole thing here. Let's just look at it. And the first one is the greatest common factor. It's a three. Just take it out. And once you take it out, this is what the quadratic look, looks like, and we know how to factor that one the regular way. Right? Factor the, the 15, 1 and 15, 3 and 5. Two numbers added together is eight, and then go ahead and use three and five. Don't forget to put the three in front, okay? Problem two, the same thing. All right, six is, is the greatest common factor. Go ahead and take it out. All right, again, be careful of, of the six. We're looking for two numbers. The difference between them, when you subtract them, you get one. See, in front of this X, there's nothing here, so there's a 1 here. When you subtract them, you get 1, so it's 2 and 3. It'll make sure the 3 ends up with the negative number, and the 6 still stays in front here, okay? Again, problems 3 and 4 might be the hardest ones on the test, you guys. All right, this first one, you got to factor out a common, greatest common factor of 4. And this is what you're left with. So you have to slide the 7 back. 7 times 6 is 42, okay? You factor the 42, looking for two numbers. The difference between them, or when you subtract them, you get 19. <clears throat> so I, I started doing it, and I found right away 2 and 21, okay? So I put 2 and 21 in here is our answer. Remember, the signs are different. And the 21 has to go with the plus. All right, then I divide the slide, which was 7. And I simplified this one to get 3. And I bottomed up that 7 in front right there, okay? And number 4, the same thing. You have a greatest common factor of 6, so just take it out. And this is what you're left with. Because there's a 3 in front of the x squared, you have to slide it back. So 3 times 10 is 30. All right, I go ahead and factor the 30, looking for two numbers. When I add them together, I get 13. So I found 3 and 10. And remember, this is the one where they're both negative. You're adding up 3 and 10, both negative. So I write it like that. Remember, we slid back a 6. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I slid back a 3. Yep, I slid back the 3. So I divided both of these by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And this one I can bottom up. Listen, guys, I did want to say two things. Obviously, I'm changing all these to x. They have different variables in there. I just like using x. Okay, that's why I'm doing that. And the other thing is, guys, you get to the final answer. 
if these two factors are turned around, it's okay. All right, if this says x minus 1 and then 3x minus 10, it's okay. Even if these two are turned around, it's okay. Just make sure that the x plus 3, that the plus is with the 3. This x plus 3 could be over here, and the 7x minus 2 could be up first. It's okay, all right? Again, multiplication is commutative. All right? Let's take a look at number 5. I think 5 and 6 are kind of easy. Again, we're looking for two numbers. Multiply together, you get 20. Add it up, you get 12. 2 and 10, I found them. I'm done. They're both plus. All right, same with this one. Looking for two numbers. Multiply together is 10. When I subtract them, I get 9. Well, geez, that's just 1 and 10. Remember, the signs are different. And because that's negative 9, make sure the negative goes with the 10 here, okay? These two are kind of easy. Number 7 is a slide method. 7 and 8 are slide. All right, because there's an 8 in front, you got to slide back to 8. So 8 times 5 is 40. I looked for two numbers. When I added them up, I got 22. And I found them right there, 2 and 20. So I put the 2 and 20 in here. They're both plus. Because I slid back to 8, now I divide the slide. All right, I simplified here first. This is 1 fourth, and this is 5 over 2, divided by 4. Yep, 5 over 2, and then bottom up, okay? Never simplify first, guys. All right, again, number 8 is a slide. Slide back to 9. You get 72. Now, I had to factor this guy a long way because I wanted two numbers added together. It was 17. I had a little trouble finding them. It's all the way down here to 8 and 9. All right, so 8 and 9 were the two numbers. They're both negative. We slid back to 9, so divide the slide out. So this is 1, and then bottom up to 9. All right, and again, the final answer, because it's multiple choice, if these are turned around, it's okay. If they're turned around, that doesn't matter. All right, they're both negative. All right, number nine. Number nine is the perfect square. All right, and, and number nine is the perfect square in the test, too. But I just like to slide it back anyway. It's got three terms, so I just want to slide it. Slide the nine back. And then try to find two numbers. When I add them together, I get six. When I multiply them, I get nine. Well, of course, it's three and three, because it's a perfect square. And they're both minus. They're always going to be both the same in, for number nine, okay? All right, divide the slide. This is one-third. Both of those are one-third. Then bottom up, and it's probably going to be written like that in the answer. Right, again, it's a perfect square, number nine. Because the number 10 is, I think, the, the easiest one of all. All right. It's the difference between two squares. Just make your brackets. What's the square root of the first one? Put it here. What's the square root of 16 is 4, of course. Put it here. And then one's a plus and one's a minus. And you're done. Okay? All right, guys. That's it. Thanks a bunch. Look at it. Go ahead and take the test. All right? If you have some questions, go ahead and email me. You guys are going to do great. That's it. Thanks.